In this brief user orientation video, we'll show you what you need to know to find your way around in the newest version of Extrusion software from Foy Inc., Epix version 9. V9 is upgraded with a new tabbed ribbon similar to what you'd find in Microsoft Office products like Word or Outlook. Just click on any of the tabs on the ribbon and you'll find the newly arranged screens associated with that tab, each with new and improved icons to make selections more user-friendly. By default, the ribbon will collapse when a screen is selected, but you have the option to pin the expanded ribbon in place. The default ribbon layout groups screens together logically into main categories, where you'll see all related screens for that category. Some screens will appear in multiple categories if they apply. So as you can see, everything is much easier to access from the ribbon, and you no longer have to drill down in menus like files, tools, and other tables. Keep in mind that the ribbon can easily be edited by an administrator to hide some or all of the default layout and display your own customized ribbon tabs. So that's a brief overview of the new ribbon in V9. Now it's time to move on to the highly improved screen layout. Here we have the familiar die maintenance screen from Epix V8. We'll move that aside and bring in the same screen from V9 and you'll see the improvements. In general, the sections of data on the screen are more logically grouped together and much easier to identify. For the most part, we've eliminated technical jargon and expanded section headings and field names to be more clear. Users should find screens in V9 to be familiar and at the same time both more accessible and more readable. And now on to the new and improved control panel. In V8, you're accustomed to seeing the control panel on the right-hand side of the screen. In V9, it's been moved to the top of the screen for a more intuitive experience. You'll always see the current mode that you're in on the top left-hand side of the screen. And just next to that, you'll see any additional modes available for selection. Action buttons will be located on the right-hand side of the screen and will always change according to the mode that you're currently in. Since I'm now in view mode, you'll notice I have no available actions, only additional modes that can be selected. We'll see another example of the action button later. V9 has an updated navigation bar to scroll through records. This is similar to what users are accustomed to in V8. And now let's take a quick look at searching for records in V9. To search for data, I'll first make sure I'm in find mode. Just as in V8, I have the ability to search on any of the data fields. All of the underlying fields have been replaced with convenient drop-down menus. I can use Control L on my keyboard when I'm in this field and start typing to locate my data, or I can just use the mouse to select from the drop-down menu. Another enhancement to the search options in V9 is the Advanced Find option, which expands on the search operators available in V8. We'll have more about that in another video. And finally, we'll take a look at the improved data validation in V9. We'll start by seeing that when we go to add a new record, seen here by clicking on New in the Mode section, required fields are now visually indicated. Also notice that my mode indicator has changed since I'm in new mode and the action button has changed accordingly as well. So now in Epix V9, whether I'm in new or edit mode, if I leave out required data or if I enter invalid data, Epix will give me a visual indication of the field in question and it won't let me save that record until the data has been properly entered. So once you've taken a few minutes to familiarize yourself with the new ribbon, the improved screen layout, and the enhanced control panel, you should be ready to use Epix V9 with much improved ease and accuracy.